Hello my dear students, I am Mr. Avan Prajapati, the director of Sanjeev Nigvip tuition which is situated at Neville. I hope you have seen my previous video which constituted of ledger and you have liked it too. Today I am going to uh, explain the practical ex illustration and I hope you have like you will like it because I have been implementing certain new things. So let's move on to the presentation so as we all know that we have done already the journal part uh, and uh, you can you have seen the practical illustration also uh, so for the practical illustration of ledger it is also important to you know uh, it is also important to know that you must you must know the journal the practical illustration how do we do that so for that if you want to view that so please watch my previous two videos which Links will be mentioned in this video also. Okay, so uh, will not mention how what are the process while generalizing because for doing a ledger entry for uh, mentioning for uh, doing any ledger we must prepare the journal entries. So I have just uh, quickly prepared over here. You can see started business with bank balance. These all should be done with the proper rules proper steps without doing step if you are doing any journal entries then you will always get wrong entries so first studies uh, uh, started business with bank balance so bank balance is there bank uh, bank is the receiver so therefore bank account debit to capital account next is uh, purchase goods from a seam so purchase is an expense and uh, a seam is the giver so purchase account debit to a seam account at it is 10 percent rate discount the Amount was of 15,000. 15,000 ke 10% is 1,500. And trade discount is never mentioned separately in the books of accounts. Then uh, uh, next is goods sold for cash to Arun. So Arun is the receiver of the goods and sales is an income. So Arun account debit to sales account. Then uske baad, uh, uh, paid rent and electricity bill. And uh, that was not mentioned. It is cash or uh, it is uh, credit. So that's why we have mentioned rent account is an expense or so debit uh, electricity bill account electricity bill is an expense so it is debited and therefore by cash then cash is going out therefore it is credited then next is uh, share of perfect technology purchased uh, purchased at the rate of 50 per share and paid the brokerage of 250. So brokerage is an expense, shares is an asset, so shares is coming in, that's why it is debited. And bank, we are paying uh, through check, that's why uh, bank is the giver of the money, so that's why bank account is credited. So next is uh, uh, goods withdrawn for personal use. So we have seen that whatever we have withdrawn for the personal use, it's called drawings. So drawings account, uh, drawings is an basically it's an expense for you. So drawings account debit to cash account. Cash is going out from the business. Then next was uh, goods sold for cash at cash discount. Uh, that is 10%. So cash account cash is coming in. Sales is an income and cash discount. That means we are giving discount. If we are giving the discount, that discount is an expense for the uh, seller. That's why cash discount is debited because it is an expense. So next was cash deposit deposited into the bank. So bank is the receiver because as we are deposit depositing the cash into the bank. So bank is the receiver. So it is debited and cash is going out. It is an asset debit what comes in credit what goes out. So bank account debit to cash account. Then uh, drawings account uh, to bank account that was basically uh, paying the daughter tuition fees. So remember that all expenses are included as personal expenses which are not directly related to the business if any expenses for example my uh, my uh, business is of uh, teaching and uh, uh, i am uh, expending on uh, like purchasing purchasing a stethoscope so stethoscope is not related to my business why do i purchase the stethoscope so that's the thing so uh, that will be call, called as drawings because it is not related to my business if i uh, if i am purchasing the weighing machine so uh, in somehow in some cases i can tell that it is a office uh, uh, office material so why do i need that too but if i purchase from 
होम पर्स हाउस होल्ड पर्पस पर्सनल पर्पस देन ऑल द थिंग्स आर कॉल्ड ड्रॉइंग्स सो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वॉज परचेज टेबल फॉर कैश सो टेबल अकाउंट डेबिट टू कैश अकाउंट देन नेक्स्ट वॉज एंड उसके बाद था कि सेल ऑफ स्क्रैप सो स्क्रैप इज सोल्ड द एसेट इज गोइंग आउट एंड कैश इज कमिंग इन सो कैश अकाउंट डेबिट टू सेल ऑफ स्क्रैप अकाउंट Here we start with uh, this was the part of journal entry with uh, of the these transaction. So now we go ahead that how do we post how do we post entries from a journal entry to a ledger? Just look it carefully. Okay. In the first transaction, there was bank account debit to capital account. So first, we will see that uh, here we have an account named as bank account. So if we have to bank account, we post it. So we will mark wherever is the bank account. So this one was. Here is bank account. Then next bank account is like uh, next bank account is uh, like over here. So we'll we will go one by one. So so this bank account is in debit. That's why this bank account will go. This bank account will go to the bank account that is debit side. But most important thing you need to remember that we never mention our name in whole book. If if we are maintaining a separate book, uh, for for example, uh, we are we have maintained a notebook. For example, we have maintained a notebook. Do we write our name in the whole book? No. We just write in the starting of the book. So similarly, here it is bank account, and the ledger of bank account includes only at the top of bank. Uh, only at at the top bank account is mentioned, and nowhere we mention bank account because हम हम लोग खुद के book में खुद का नाम नहीं लिखते basically. ये book keeping का सबसे बड़ा rule है. So bank account is in debit. That's why bank account के debit में हम लोग क्या लिखेंगे? So वो transaction किसका था? Why? For what we did the transaction? So to generate the capital. So that's why we have written to capital account. Now next bank account we'll see that. Uh, next bank account is uh, yes. In fifth one, uh, it is in credit. So that bank account is in credit. So यहाँ पे ledger में हम लोग ledger के credit side जाएंगे and जो भी debit में लिखा है वो as it is mentioned करेंगे. See. so 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 there is shares uh, technology so, you can see uh, that bank account है, so bank account के, account, uh, bank account 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 credit में. So, हम लोग सबसे पहले ये देखेंगे कि जो भी अकाउंट हम लोग पोस्ट कर रहे हैं जो भी अकाउंट का हम लोग पोस्टिंग कर रहे हैं वो कौन से साइड है अगर वो डेबिट में है तो उस अकाउंट के डेबिट साइड में लिखेंगे अगर वो क्रेडिट में है तो उस अकाउंट के क्रेडिट साइड में लिखेंगे दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड वॉट डू वी राइट एज सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी दैट वॉट इज इट रेफरेंस उनका रेफरेंस क्या है सो यहाँ पे शेयर का रेफरेंस है इसलिए वहां पे मैंने शेयर लिखा एंड ब्रोकरेज लिखा सो जो कुछ भी डेबिट में रहेगा वो सब मैंशन करेंगे हम लोग लेकिन अमाउंट उसका ही मैंशन करेंगे नाउ नेक्स्ट बैंक इज नाउ नेक्स्ट बैंक इज सो यर इट इज एट वन सो बैंक अकाउंट इज इन डेबिट दैट्स वाई हम लोग बैंक अकाउंट पे डेबिट साइड में मैंशन करेंगे सो यस So you can see over here that bank account is in debit. इसलिए bank account के debit में हम लोग ने क्या लिखा? To cash account. Then उसके बाद uh, next bank account is in again credit. So यहाँ पे भी हम लोग ने bank account के credit side में क्या mention किया? So buy drawings mention किया. 
then again uh, bank account uh, no there are no bank account so in this way we do the posting this this all is called posting so we'll see next uh, next is uh, capital account so we'll see the capital account and here we also see the capital account so here see capital account hai? so capital account is in credit okay capital account is in credit is ne capital account ke credit side me humne kya likha by bank so see if the account is in credit so it will be posted to credit side of that account and what we will post whatever written in opposite side whatever which is written in uh, either section okay so if it is in credit so whatever mentioned in debit we will write there and if it is debit so whatever uh, is written in credit we will mention in the debit side of that particular account okay i hope you are clear now next is a uh, purchase so purchase we we will see Mm, okay. So purchase account ko wapas hum log lete hai. Okay. So purchase account thirteen thousand five hundred. Kitha hai? Purchase account debit mein hai. So purchase account debit mein hai. That means that means what? Ki hum log purchase account ke हम लोग परचेस अकाउंट के डेबिट साइड में जाएंगे और उधर लिखेंगे टू असीम्स अकाउंट दैट्स इट सो ऐसे हम लोग सारे पोस्टिंग करेंगे वी विल आई विल नॉट शो नाउ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ओवर हियर इज द क्लोजिंग हियर हियर इन द ट्रांजैक्शन इट वाज गिवन द 27th 27 ट्रांजैक्शन यहां पे दिया था कि पेड इनटू बैंक इन एक्सेस of cash so as you can see over here paid cash into bank in excess of 2000 so iska matlab kya hota hai ye hum log jaan lenge so basically pehle main cash account open karunga cash account dekhenge so yahan pe dekho uh, ki uh, we will see all cash uh, into the journal so sabse pehle uh, cash kahan pe hai so cash is directly given in the fourth transaction so yahan pe cash fourth transaction hai so hum log dekhenge cash fourth transaction mein credit side hai iske liye cash account ke credit side mein humne likha jo bhi debit mein likha hai that is by rent and by electricity jo bhi amount hai unke respective amount then uh, we'll uh, again choose the cash cash is again given in credit so hum log ne mention kiya cash ke credit side by drawings then uske baad uh, next uh, cash is given in uh, debit so we again mention cash your yeah, sales account into the debit side then next cash is given into the credit so here we mention on the credit side bank account then uh, then next cash is given into the tenth transaction so again it is in credit that's why we mark it on credit side okay i hope you have clear and here last was cash account was in debit so debit side mein humne likha hai to sale of scrap so aise aise hum hamesha posting karte hai now most important is the casting that means how we transfer these amount towards next account okay so these uh matlab it depend wo depend karta hai ki ye jo ledger accounts hum log month ke liye banaya we will prepare for the month or the year it depends on the organization on the uh, size of organization now here you can see that we have uh, received cash 8000 from sales we have received cash 4500 from sales we have received cash 1500 from sale of scrap we have paid cash towards rent 
we have paid cash towards uh, uh, electricity bill we have paid cash for uh, drawings we have paid cash for the uh, bank account that is called uh, basically we deposited and then table account we purchase table and then uske baad ab yahan pe yahan pe yahan pe humne transaction mein dekha okay यहाँ तक हमने ट्रांजेक्शन में देखा कि टेबल तक हमारे ट्रांजेक्शन में अवेलेबल है सो so, यहाँ तक बैलेंस क्या होता है बेसिकली यहाँ तक बेसिकली बैलेंस क्या होता है कि इट इज 7800 इन क्रेडिट एंड 14000 डेबिट में इस साइड का डेबिट है एंड इस साइड का क्रेडिट है तो डेबिट साइड में टोटल 14000 अमाउंट आया है एंड क्रेडिट साइड में केवल केवल 7800 है सो so, यहाँ पे सिक्स थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड तो यहाँ पे बेसिकली होता क्या है कि वॉट एवर इज द अमाउंट जो जो कुछ भी अमाउंट होता है ना सो so हम क्या करेंगे सो so हम क्या करेंगे जो भी डिफरेंस होता है बेसिकली जो कुछ भी डिफरेंस होता है वो हम लोग नेक्स्ट अकाउंट में ट्रांसफर कर देते हैं वी विल सी वन मोर अकाउंट दैट इज परचेज नाउ यह यू कैन सी कि सीम अकाउंट इज गिवन ऑन डेबिट डेबिट में थर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड है एंड क्रेडिट में कुछ भी नहीं है सो व्हाट वी डिड एज बाय बैलेंस कैविट डाउन दैट इज ऑन ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ऑगस्ट थर्टी फर्स्ट दैट मीन्स महीने के एंडिंग में हमने बैलेंस कैविट डाउन दैट मीन्स दिस बैलेंस इज ट्रांसफर टू द नेक्स्ट मंथ यू कैन सी ओ ई हर ऑन डेबिट साइड टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सेप्टेम्बर वन टू बैलेंस वर्ड डाउन सो हमेशा हर एक साल में या फिर हर महीने में हम लोग ऐसा हर एक लेजर अकाउंट में करते हैं आई होप आई एम क्लियर वट आई सेड If anyone comes up with the uh, question, any questions, whatever questions you may uh, arise, you may raise, that will be answered in the comment section. So please feel free to ask the questions. Thanks for watching, my dear students. I hope you have understood all the concepts which I have considered and the new style also. Okay, my next video will be on. the bank reconciliation statement which normally students find very difficult and i am really going to teach in a very similar very 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 simple way in just 3 uh, to 4 steps so please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video thank you